702, call to order the regular meeting here at the City Council of the City of Aransas Pass, 600 West Cleveland Boulevard, February 15, 2016, 7 p.m. Paul, please rise for the invitation. <laughs> Lord, we'd like to give you thanks for all the blessings bestowed upon us here in this community. We ask you to keep guiding us with your, with your strong hand. We ask you to bless our young ones as they're coming up through the years, hopefully become our future leaders of this community. We ask you to bless our citizens here that have worked so hard to build this community. We ask you to watch over us, bless us all, and take care of our elderly and the ones that don't feel well. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This will bring us to item four, the Board of Commission appointments, which will bring us to item four A, Zone Board of Adjustment. Uh, Mayor and Council, as you're aware, the um, Zoning Board of Adjustment is due a member. Byron McLaughlin was the um, sole applicant. At one point, we tabled um, considering Mr. McLaughlin's health, but he has informed us he is uh, ready and able to serve. We didn't have any substitutes or anything in the wings that were already on the board. Did you have? No. No. Okay. No. Is there any questions from council? So it, is Byron going to be an alternate? Is that what I'm reading here? Uh, it's a vacant position. Okay. Yes. What? He fills the alternate member slot. So oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 So I hear a motion for approval for Mr. Byron. Well, I make a motion that we approve Byron McLaughlin to fill the vacancy in Zoning Board of Adjustments. I second. All in favor say aye. 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 <coughs> this is going to bring us to item five would be our citizen comments. Please state your name, your address, and you have three minutes to state any business for or against anything you want. The floor is now open. Okay, nobody wants to make any citizen comments. We're good. We just want to make sure. <laughs> okay, if that's so, then that will close our citizen comments. And we will continue on. <clears throat> this will bring us to item six, the consent agenda. All of the final items of the consent agenda are considered to be routine by the city council will be enacted with one motion. There will be no separate discussion of these items unless the council member so requests. If the discussion is desired, that item will be removed from the consent agenda will be considered separately. There will be item A. Approval of the minutes of regular city council meeting of January 18, 2016 meeting. Item 6B would be ordinance 2016-4139, ordinance of the city rents pass repealing article 5 of the record service sections 28-90 through 28-97 of the code of ordinances adopting a new article of 5 record service sections 28-90 through 28-93 pertaining and regulating the record service in the city of rents pass providing a, repe a repealer clause provided an effective date, which will be April 1st, 2016. Is that correct? Correct. Right. Then item 6C would be an ordinance of 2016-4140, an ordinance amending the section 9-46, the code of ordinances of the city of Rents Pass, Texas, pertaining to uh, prohibition to, of the use of fireworks within certain areas of the city, providing a repealer clause and providing an effective date. They'll still be able to pop fireworks, Don't Miller? Yes, I'm changing anything there. It's just saying that um, 
law enforcement, the city cannot take packaged firearms away from you. Okay. Is there any questions in any of these items from the council? No, I'm good. Uh, I have a motion for approval for item six, A, B, and C. I make a motion that we approve the consent agenda. I second. All in favor say aye. 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 This will bring us to item seven, considering that on the city manager items. Sylvia, A. Uh, Mayor and Council, item A is a uh, request for proposals for Con Brown Harbor Lighting. Uh, as you're aware, we're in litigation with the contractor and the engineer over the work down in Con Brown Harbor. Several of the lighting fixtures have fallen, given away, and have become a safety hazard. As we begin our busy season, it's important we have um, lighting. We did open bids at 10 o'clock today. Your alternate package is located there and on the screen. Gray Bar was uh, the lowest bidder. At this point, the bid has come in at $86,079.88. We will have to absorb this through the general fund or the harbor fund and expect reimbursement at some point in litigation. And these are all the lights in, in the harbor itself all the way this around. is about 30 lights 30 poles around mostly around the parking area um, the pier and the fish cleaning I'm sorry, fish cleaning table so so when we put up new lights are these better than what we put up in originally yes our original lights are not what we consider industrial capacity I mean for example the up lighting they're not up lighting they just use normal lights so water would pool and you know okay. rest the fixture yes these are that's why the price per light is so expensive. The roads where redfish release lies are going down towards the middle median come across. I was there today and saw one of those light fixtures actually hanging. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess the light bulb had actually fell. Mm -hmm. That part of it just didn't. Several, several lights, especially in a windstorm, we have very few lights that are actually surviving the, um, our wind and environment. Okay, so the total amount is $86,079.88. What's the time limit to get it done if it passes? So about nine weeks start to finish. We are going to, I mean, we've looked at the lights that are going to be put up there to make sure that they are. We've had a local electrical engineer um, review the lights, the lumens, to make sure they are going to last. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Is it 30 lights on each pole? Or 30 lights total? It's 30 lights total. It's 38 poles. lights. 38, 38 lights. Poles. It's 30 lights on 15 poles because they're the double lights and then eight lights on the fishing pier itself. Okay. Two lights on 15 poles. Okay. And that's the uh, lowest bid we can find so far? That is the lowest bid. We did actually have five bidders. Um, two of the bidders did not follow the bid package directions and submitted unsealed bids electronically, so they had to be thrown out. But they were substantially higher than um, these three. And this person in your company, we check their insurance and all that? They would have to provide, all of this is subject to being able to provide the insurance information and their bonds. Um. Any questions for council on this? Grand total for all the lights for parts and labor. So the the material plus probably right. Uh -huh. Is that correct? How does it work? So it's this parts uh, parts labor equipment equipment rental. What are the what are the totals that we have here on the 
That's per light. That's, that's a per light. Chuck, you want to? The lowest bid is twenty two sixty five twenty six. That's just the lighting. That doesn't include the labor cost or um, equipment. Here's the question, Mayor. Okay, how are the lights broken down? This per how much we're paying for each light? Uh, for each light, the uh, price is uh, twenty two hundred and sixty five dollars and twenty six cents. That's per light. That includes uh, installation and labor. It includes taking down the remains of the existing lights and uh, proper disposal. There's there's a calculator on the screen. 38 lights times 2265-26. What, uh, we existed on measures to make sure this is the best bank for our book. I mean, did we exhaust all measures I mean, are we just settling for this dollar amount and paying eighty six thousand? Uh, we can go. Uh, we can. Uh, we could go with a much cheaper light. The lights that are on there now, uh, the electricians uh, that I've talked to call them barn lights. They're about one hundred and twenty dollars off the bottom shelf at a hardware store. Uh, they didn't last a year before they started failing. Mm -hmm. right. These are marine quality uh, stainless steel and have a five-year warranty on them. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, I won't have to go through this right. again. What about uh, the wiring? Is there existing wiring? Is that going to be, is that gonna wiring, be an issue? Uh, the wiring, any, any required wiring uh, is included in this. Uh, the three elect electrical companies that showed up to uh, tour the harbor uh, all felt like the bulk of the wiring was in uh, satisfactory shape. These are to be wired into that panel out there with a timer on them. Mm -hmm. right. Is there any other questions? Thank you, Chuck. Yes, sir. At, at this point, I would remind the council it is an issue of safety. We have very few lighting out there. And yes, it is an outgoing expense from the general fund <coughs> or the harbor fund, whichever. Uh, we're going to try for the harbor fund first. If not, we'll move on to the general fund. Um, and it will be recouped in litigation. We have a court date scheduled for September of 2016. That, that part of litigation you talk about is with who? Uh, Naismith, J.M. Davidson, and Garrett Construction. And that's the part with the deal with the grant for the stocks, Correct. stocks right? Correct. What is the favor of the council item 7A? Well, I make a motion that we go with Gray Bar Electric. Second. All first say aye. 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 Any opposed? I oppose. I oppose. I oppose. So we have two in favor, two against, and the mayor's a tiebreaker. So I'm against. Okay, so sure. the issue will fail. Fail. Okay. I would like to go for us to make a comment. Just go out and look and make sure we're getting the best price. Anybody else, you know, look at the two that... With the same quality of light you're looking for, Chuck, you know, put it put on your bed or whatever. Did you want this this type of light, this type of... Uh, you don't want the barnyard one from any local, you know, you want something where quality is going to light. The, the council, the, the companies that submitted were given specific... Um, specs for the lighting. We didn't just accept a um, highest quality marine grade. They were given a specification to bid on so that we can compare apples to apples when the bids were received. So what's the brand of light we're looking at? Do you have the lumens? Um, our local resident um, served as the electrical engineering consultant on this. We've gone through lumens and material and I don't know who the manufacturer is per se we can give you what the product and overall specification should be. And I believe the manufacturer of the light, if I recall the brochures that came in, are, is Predator. Uh, I learned a lot about lights. Uh, what's, uh, what they tell me is what's not, what is important is from that height, how many lumens shine on the ground, not how many lumens are generated at the light, but the density of those lumens. What we bid was uh, 400 watt 
lights with a th uh, LEDs with a thousand watt uh, equivalent mm -hmm. and a bright white light, not the soft yellow or something. Uh, and I laughingly told them I want to light it up like a football field. Uh, we're seeing too much uh, vandalism and uh, signs of drug use uh, around the park. Uh, the boat ramps right now are disastrous. There's no lighting at all on them. Uh, my fishing guide friends uh, who fish at night, flounder fishermen and those that leave early, uh, <coughs> really complain about not being able to see the docks to get the boats in the ramps. And I have nightmares of somebody getting one set of wheels up on a dock and tipping a boat over on a kid. Uh, so I want to light it up, not to be pretty, but to be bright. Right. And not have any hidden corners up uh, past the fish cleaning table where, you know, where crime can occur. So I'll remind the council again to go out for RFP is another 45 day process. By the time we grant an award bids, we'll be well into tourism and fishing season. That looks like the way we're going to head right now. What about 7B, so good? Um, I have Rosemary who is requesting the annual shrimpery ground assistance. Hello everyone. Um, I'm here again like I am every year. This is my tenth time um, asking for the use of the grounds. By the way, I already started promoting, so I hope you're still going to say yes. <laughs> and I already have half the entertainment done. But uh, most importantly, the um, insurance. We are always included on these cities as an additional insured and, and vice versa, the cities added on to ours just to make sure that we're all being protected. And also the uh, police protection that we um, get from you guys is the professional police department that we have that we have to have on staff to be able to take care of everything safely. We remember that there are 56,000 people on the grounds and Eric and his crew are the best that we can get out there. And that budget for them last year was um, between 24 and 25,000, we know that it would probably, it's probably going to be a little bit more this year just because we have some really heavy entertainment on Sunday and we doubled the size of the family stage as well with entertainment, so we know we're going to have a lot more people on the ground. And so we are prepared to cover the, any extra cost that there is on the security. Okay. Is there any questions from council? No. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you, Rosemary. Is there a motion for approval item 7B? May I make a motion we approve item 7B? Second the motion. All in favor say aye. 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 I'm abstaining from the vote since my husband is the chairman of the board. Title 7C. Uh, Mayor and Council, we have a request from uh, Aransas Pass Project Graduation for an amount of $5,000 assisting with their end of year um, function and also waiving the fees for use of the pool on June the 3rd, 2016. Um, you'll see in the agenda memo I'm requesting that the Council reduce the amount to $1,500 and also waive the fees for the pool. Is everybody here that likes to say anything on behalf of this? Ms. Yeah. Project Graduation is here. Hi, we are here on behalf of Project Graduation. We are a nonprofit organization that is funded solely for donations that we receive um, from our citizens and businesses around town and local areas. It started back in 1980, Project Graduation, up in a small town in Maine. About 12 graduates were killed with an alcohol related incident. It has grown tremendously. We have a good turnout. We're keeping our kids safe. Uh, we do need it here in Aransas Pass. And over the last couple of years, our attendance has kind of fallen a little bit because kids have kind of gotten wind on what we're doing, you know, keeping all together. And we would like to change it up a little bit. And to do that, we need more funds. Because of all the donations that we receive, it all goes back to the students. Everything is spent on them receiving an award. Every kid leaves with a prize at $50 value and a $25 value. And just to keep the um, 
attendance, that's where we need some more funds so that we, we can still give the students a prize when they leave. This is their last gathering together. And uh, we were asking for the $5,000 because we found a thing to change the venue, to add some more stuff, just to keep them interested so we can keep them all together and safe on this night. Um, this nonprofit organization is obviously run by only volunteers. And one of the things that we have noticed is as our seniors are graduating, we are losing their parents who are the resources. Um, and we don't want to end up like some schools, we've done our research, some schools have actually stopped having their uh, project graduation. Um, unfortunately, we have to rely on donations from uh, you know, our community to, to keep it going. So where do y'all want to change the venue to? We have um, spoke to the uh, schools and we are going to get the um, Charlie Marshall Elementary. And with that, we were adding in some uh, bouncy, not little kid bouncy houses, but the uh, sumo inflatable things to keep the kids interested because we started at a church and uh, they played bingo and now with technology and changing things, I noticed last year there was like a lull in the night. So we would still want to give everybody a prize, but we also want to keep them entertained and wanting to come. I want to keep this going on. I've been involved for the last three years and I plan to keep doing it, but I've noticed with changing technology and our kids, just playing a simple game of bingo isn't fun to them anymore. <laughs> we want to get them, keep them interested so we can keep them safe. With the inflatables, there's also like a phone book because you know when we have it, the kids don't have their phone, they're, they, they're not allowed to have their phones or anything, so they have no way of taking pictures right. of what's going on through the night. So we thought that this would be a great addition to it. So they have these photos that they could take home and have the memories from that night with them. And the photo booth would be a great, that would be a great thing, thing for that yes. night. They cannot have any access to any technology during the night. Any questions from council? I just want to make a statement. I got a daughter to see you this year. That's why I won't be voting on this deal. But I do. Let me see. Can can the city ranch put a price on a life, a child? I mean, have we spent money sometimes that people have not agreed? Is it for a good cause? just want everybody to think about it. Uh, back in a, when I started doing some research on this, because we are changing things this year, and I really invested some time into it, and when I said it started in May, I was unaware of the reason why. It was a small town just like us. They had 12 students all top of the class in an accident that was alcohol related, and so the people came together and started this, and now it is every state, every one of our 50 states does it, a lot of small towns, a lot of communities. And as she uh, said, they are, it's starting to die down because we're not getting the volunteers because we are sole nonprofit asking for donations. So I would hate for that to come to an end here. It's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun for the kids. I've done it in the last five years, even before I had one in the high school. So like, it's fun to watch the kids interact throughout the night, even when they're dead tired, they're still smiling and giggling. Mm -hmm. And our passion is so great for it. We don't have anybody graduate. <laughs> and, I, and I'm not quite sure that the, the, the city has always uh, donated the police protection and waived the fees for the pool. Is that correct? Correct. Has the city ever given a monetary amount? No. No. Okay. My recommendation is the $5,000 that they're asking for. Second. All in favor, say aye. 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 And I abstain, Mayor. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Tell you. them don't go down to the harbor. They might get bugged in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll get them flashlights. We're all worried about their lives. Don't go down there and get mugged. This brings us to item uh, 7D, I believe. Uh, yes, Mayor. This is the uh, consider an act on approving the lease agreement with the Aransas Pass Little League. Um, previously, Council tabled the item uh, wanting the Little League board to be present, and we do have some members in the audience, so if they'd like to step up. How are we doing? 
<laughs> Basically, this is the, uh, you knew I was going to talk to you. Basically, this is just, this is just our yearly uh, lease agreement. Uh, we, we saw you guys uh, that had it last year. And uh, I think if, if, if you guys have it in front of you, mm -hmm. okay, so you see pretty much what it is. We're not asking for anything. You guys have done enough. Um, you know, you put some money on the table for us, you know, and, and that's kind of what we needed with, uh, with some of the circumstances that have happened with our league this year. Um, you know, but uh, we're just trying to pull together just to make things as successful as we can. Uh, you know, we've reached out to the community. There's a lot of distrust there. So it's been a struggle, you know, but, I mean, we're coming – up to speed on where we need to be, you know. The lease agreement is going to help out. I know, uh, you know, the main thing is, is you guys are taking care of the lighting around the building. Since it's pitch black there, you can't see anything. So, I mean, you guys are taking care of the lights on the fields already. We can't ask for anything else, you know. Um, the lease agreement is pretty simple. It asks for um, for the uh, seating of the fields and things like that. I really don't feel like we need those. So, if you need to amend it, by all means, we can amend that. I mean, because we're taking care of our own fields, you know, we've uh, we've made a big stride. We're, we're starting to do a lot of work on our fields. So the Little League field, which is a minor field, we're replacing it with a, a dirt infield, uh, the girls' softball field. With some of the donations that we received throughout our community, we're, uh, we're going to turn it into an actual softball field. So it's going from where it was normally grass. It's going to be all, you know, red dirt. So, um, But basically, this is just our, our uh, way of you know, leasing your building and, and continuing to be as productive as we can be, so. I've been keeping up with y'all's progress through Facebook and going to visit down there. It's a lot of work. I bought the hard work that I put into it. Well, we appreciate it. So. You know, we, we get questions a lot, but it is what it is. And we understand that, you know, with the circumstances that happened this previous year, it's going to happen. So. But, you know, like I told Tito, all we can do is, you know, we just continue to drive forward and, and make this as successful as we can. So. Yes, sir. I had a question. We previously um, removed the $5,000 request to the Little League. Is that an item that you guys would like to see brought back? You know, um, we're, we're kind of in the middle of this, too. We're, we're addressing this as a Little League board. Uh, we thought that we were going to get some funds from from the uh, the chamber. They weren't as much fun as we thought we were going to get. So we're trying to, to replan our budget a little bit more. Um, so we, we kind of had a budget in place based on the amount of money that we were supposed to be allocated. But that's changing now. So, um, you know, with the money that has been allocated and some of the donations that are coming in, I feel like we will probably be okay. But, I mean, it, you know, I don't think that it would be a bad idea. However, our board is just wanting to know, you know, what is the, you know, what is the contract with the loan? Very similar to like our lease agreement with the building. What does the loan state, you know, how we go about getting the money? Because there is an issue with like the chamber where they don't want to directly donate the money, which I understand. However, um, you know, so they want to spend the money through them. Is that what we're looking at with you guys? Or we're or looking at what, a five year no interest? Five years, no interest. Okay, but as the loan, I mean, you're just going to five thousand dollars donated to the That's, Little League. As far as I understand, correct? I right. think we were. I thought we were looking at paying the invoices coming through us. That's what had been in the discussion. I thought no, we were just yeah, the discussion was. That's what we started the discussion, then it ended up as a zero interest. No, uh, yeah, a zero interest. But as far as are we going to, I thought the discussion was that they send us the bill and we pay them, not giving the money directly to their. That would be something you okay, guys so would, we would have, have to discuss. Decide on that. Okay. Yeah, and I, I totally understand. Like I said, with the circumstances that happened, I understand. You know, um, but also, you know, I know that you guys have heard what has happened. This occurred during the off season, okay, and you know, it's still pending their investigation. So, I mean. We did not try and hide anything. We, we brought it to the attention. As soon as we found out, we made a unanimous vote, just like you guys do, and we took it to the police and let them deal with it. Right. So, um, you know, we're not trying to hide money. Everything is there for anybody to access, and we have taken those steps that we need to, to make sure that it doesn't happen again. So, so are you all good with either way? I mean, with yeah, I mean, cause, cause this is this is the same them. way that the commerce, you know, request that we go about it, and that's fine. Now, the problem is, is, you know, whenever we need those items or something, we have to go and take you, like, say, an estimate or, you know, a, a quote, per se, and then you guys pay the quote. I have no problem with that. But, I mean, that's totally up to you guys, you know. Uh, like I and, and I told Tito, I said, you know, I mean, it, it would be fine if we took that, if you just had that 5000 on reserve for if you needed those items. You know, like, we, we purchased uh, new bases, new home plates. So, I mean, the fields are getting hard in renovations. You know, right. you guys fix the lights on, uh, on your budget. So, you know, we're just trying to do our part. You guys did yours, and we're just trying to make it happen, you know. And, uh, I mean, uh, you know, and we have to kind of 
to look forward to, to like all stars and things like that, you know, and seeing maybe we could get tournaments. But it's been so long since those fields have had any kind of maintenance. I mean, the chain link is falling off of them, you know, and the fields are just in bad shape. But we can only do with you know what we're allocated. And, and the problem is, is whenever you decide, hey, I, I need a lawnmower or hey, I need this, and you know, you start spending these small ticket items they add up in the long run, you know. So I mean, we're 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 basically going throughout the year on say a fifteen to twenty thousand dollar budget and making this whole park work throughout that year, you know. So and that's excuse me, sir, I mean to be rude, but what's your name? Justin Cooper. I'm sorry. Oh, Mr. Cooper. One fourteen wearing like No, you're good. I just, I just I just you had the skis bed on the way no, 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 no. so I like to ask. Yes sir. All right. <clears throat> Mary, is there something? Rosemary is something you wanted to add? The, the Social program. media came out with this amount that was yeah. over ten thousand dollars. So uh, how that how that corresponded, I really don't have any idea. But that was the, the you know the, the the direction that we headed with was with the ten thousand dollars, thinking that we were going to be right back in. But you know, um, with you guys buying that, what we still have to do right now is we still have to pay a thousand dollar deductible, okay? And that money can come back to the little league. So we did have insurance last year. We have to pay our charter this year and our insurance money. And then we file through like an insurance claim to regain that fifteen thousand dollars that he took. So once that goes into effect, they gave us sixty to two hundred forty days. So sixty to two hundred forty days, we should be getting that money back. You know, minus the thousand dollars for the deductible. So. Are y'all having any kind of fundraisers or anything um, to? Are you doing anything stuff. opening day as far as? Barbecue sales we're or still anything? Works for, and we're trying to plan on a barbecue sale. Um, I mean, a majority of our stuff is coming from, you know, from private charity donations right now. Uh, and, you know, we've got a car wash that's scheduled, so we're going to try and do a car wash. And uh, so, you know, but I mean, those are those are really, the I guess the funds won't really, act. I mean, they're small ticket items, you know what I'm saying? It's not like we're going to make an overzealous amount of money during those, those things. But, uh, you know, you have to spend that money to make the money. So. Right. We're just trying to pre-plan our business based on the funds that we have right now. So. Okay. Now, what we're working on is on registration. So until that picks up, we still have to pay charter. We still have things that we need to take care of. And so these things, you know, many ways, it, you know, once we get started, and that's a different story. We have a decision so we've got other things. Tournaments is fucked up. We may be sponsoring, but in the meantime, we need to get started and take care of those big ticket items that we need to do before we see where the money comes. Any other questions from council? Mm -hmm. Mayor, I, I, didn't, I didn't want to interrupt, but uh, unfortunately, the only thing on the agenda tonight is just the lease agreement. It, it is yes. the lease agreement. Just the lease agreement. Sorry. Just the lease. Okay. Thank you, Alvin. All right. Thank you. So, what we can do is uh, discuss the lease agreement and then next meeting we can put uh, on the agenda up to 5000 We'll proceed from there. Yes, sir. I think uh, I think the issue was, you know, much like the volunteer fire department, they had a board, they had some oversights, and yet twenty five thousand dollars vanished. So I think that's the same issue with the chamber. There is some public trust um, and accountability that has to be re earned. That's understandable. Mm -hmm. Well, I make a motion that we approve the contract for the Aransas Pass League. Second. second. All in favor say aye. 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 Play ball. So for our next meeting, we'll put that on the agenda. That will be on the next. Uh, that'll be on the next agenda. Thank you. This is going to bring us to item eleven. Consider that for public safety items A and B. Eric.
correction. And it still falls within the, uh, the grant amount. How many rifles are we putting scopes on? Well, I, hey, I, I got a question. It says right here, consider an act on the memorandum of I'm understanding MOU, yeah. between the yeah. Texas Transportation Commission. Yes, it's, it's all part of the... It oh, it's all part, it's all part of that? It's all part of that, right? Okay. Yeah. 3,000? Yeah. Okay. okay. I was like, ah, I just... It's all part of that same action. It's all an air tip. Okay. Okay. There are, I believe, six patrol rifles. That's the last sentence. Patrol has requested these funds be used for optical sites on their patrol rifles. Any other questions from council? No, I'm good. Okay. Thank you, Philip. I hear a motion for approval for item 11A. I make a motion that we approve a memorandum of understanding between the City of Aransas Pass Police Department and the Texas Transportation Commission for the acceptance of the 3,000 grant award. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 The uh, next item reports to the last <coughs> modifies the uh, sex offender residency ordinance. And when we first enacted this ordinance, there was two parts that we were going to do to it. Uh, the first part was the residency restriction. The uh, second part that we were looking at waiting on another state or a city in Texas to kind of do some so. legal. They have not gotten through their legal challenges last I received from their attorney uh, for the city, but uh, there are other cities. In fact, the state of Illinois has a uh, law on the books that restricts sex offenders from going to the child safety zone. We already have child safety zones established, so uh, since we were modifying this ordinance, I took it upon myself to go ahead and add that uh, restriction for child safety zones to it. You don't have to keep that if you don't like, but it is there so you can see it completely. And what that will change is on top of the res residency restrictions, we added a, a bus stops to child safety zones. And the reason that I threw bus stops in there is if you remember Daniel Billman, he was going to bus stops trying to solicit uh, parents babysit. to let him babysit their children. So, uh, and now he's going to federal prison. That's a good place for him. Uh, so we want to protect our children when they're getting on and off the bus by keeping sex offenders that have no legitimate purpose for being there uh, in the room to trying to pick up a child. Uh, it also <coughs> all the other uh, child safety zones, uh, you know, like the bowling alley, movie theater, the park. We actually had one offender at one time we caught out at the water park that would get his jollies off or whatever while watching the little kitties in the kiddie pool. Now, if we were to drive up and deal with them on that, if we don't see an offense or nobody saw an offense occurring, we couldn't do anything but run them off. He'd come right. back the next day. This way, we'd be able to cite them or arrest them under city ordinance okay. uh, for basically loitering child safety zone. Um, we did have this section in there as well as far as uh, sex offenders that uh, require residency for some type of medical purpose, which would grant uh, the police department, if we can verify that, you know, the ability to circumvent the ordinance. Uh, and if we deny that, uh, that variance on the ordinance, then it could come uh, follow the legal course up where they could fill the city So basically, let me tell you how we've had that. We've got a nursing home here in town, and if you've dealt with medical recently, sometimes it's very hard for some of those folks to find a place that will receive them for their medical care. Uh, some of those folks, we've had two of them just show up at, at the Lexington place. I mean, these are bedridden individuals. They're not really that much of a threat, and I, and I think that we need to be somewhat accommodating, especially for the families that are caring for those this would allow us to let them move in there even if it's in violation
issue with the city ordinance. One, two, sometimes you have situations like we had as well in town where a sex offender has to move because they got a disabled or handicapped child in the household and uh, they need to accommodate for medical purposes. If we can verify the medical need, this uh, variance to the ordinance will allow us to uh, go around the ordinance and let them move. Eric, and that's something y'all follow up with the PD itself or check with the doctors or? Yeah, we, we did. We actually did follow up and uh, we will follow up on them. Uh, we keep the, all the offenders in town that register, we go the extra effort. I don't know if any of the other communities do, but we check on them monthly Good. instead of just once a year when it's a state requirement for most of them. We always check up on them and verify that they're doing what they need. Any other questions, Council? No. Is no. there a motion for approval for item 11B? Yeah, I'll make a motion. We approve item 11B. Second. A little favor, say aye. 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 <coughs> this is going to drop us down to item 13, public hearings. Mr. Lawrence. Thank you, Mayor. The first item under public hearings is item 13A, which is a public hearing to uh, discuss the final report of the charter review at Hawk Committee on the proposed charter amendments, of which there are two. Uh, Shelby, you want to address it? Yes, sir. Uh, Mayor and Council, it's a little bit out of order in your packet. It, it's, uh, it goes a little bit beyond the, the two pages calling for the election. If you look at uh, charter amendment number one, these are, we had the Charter Review Committee review the entire charter. It took us about eight weeks. We came back and forth with not only research, state statutes, Supreme Court cases, but also what the feeling was of the community members who were serving on the committee. The first one was something that staff asked for. The, the way the uh, contingent appropriation was written in the charter, it caused for an, a contingent appropriation, meaning a, a um, reserve fund, basically, in an amount not to exceed 3%. So it capped us at how much we can put into reserve for emergency situations. Staff asked that that amount, that language be changed in an amount not less than 3%. So we'd always be required to put in 3% and in, in cases where we had better years, put in more than the 3%. Uh, so that's, and I know my directors around and, and city staff are not going to be happy because we'll just have to tighten our belts more this coming year, but I think it's important to keep our bond rating up and, you know, get uh, better credit terms from our creditors. And then uh, Charter Amendment number two is Finance Administration. This is also something that staff requested to be changed. It is the disbursement of funds. Right now, the uh, signatory authority on disbursement is the city manager, municipal court judge, or city secretary. I shouldn't be on that uh, signatory list, really, because as the finance director who really technically reports to the city manager, there needs to be a better checks and balances on who's writing a check and who's given authority to write check. So we change that or ask that it be changed that the signatory authority be appointed by the council. At that point, knowing where the roles are and making sure that we have a checks and balance. So those are the two. The, the committee was happy with uh, all of the other chapters, all of the other uh, changes. You will see some changes, but they will not come in the form of a charter amendment. They will come in the course of a municipal code amendment. They've asked for some things like council education, um, uh, some other training requirements, but those are not a place, those don't belong in the charter. They belong in the municipal code. What does the state ask for? in training? Yeah, the training you have to go to your um, open meetings training that's about it um, we had some community members request um, not just open meetings but other um, ethics and things uh, to be training so Mary and I are going to do some research and bring some recommendations to the council and if these, uh, if these two uh, charter amendments are approved by you they will be put on the next, uh, next ballot yes on the May ballot right so are there any other, other questions or comments? If not, then the public hearing is closed. Hold on now. Oh, I'm sorry. Daniel. Uh, oh. Daniel. Daniel. My name is Daniel Jimenez. I live at 140 North Arch. 
I hadn't planned to speak on this, but I was curious if there's not a limit, then what's to stop anybody from just putting money in that fund and, and continue to adding money and not money, money, and then decide, well, hey, we just got, the, we got that money in there. We'll just use that. We have problems for just about anything. The money's put in reserve, and it would require council action to take it out. It would not be staff who has the authority to take it out. Okay. Well, that's what I was asking, but thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank Anyone good. else have any questions? Seeing none, then the public hearing is closed. Uh, this brings us to item 13B. I hear a motion for approval item 13B. I make a motion we approve item 13B. Is it 13A? It's 13A. 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 Oh, excuse me. 13A. 13A. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's a public hearing. That was just a public hearing. hearing. Here's the, that's all it says. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. 13B, sorry. Then, right? 13B is a resolution. Well, 13B, 13B is calling for the election, which includes these charter amendments. Okay. okay. So, yeah, we haven't really gone into into the remaining. The the other item is calling for the actual election for um, places two and four of the council, which, as you're aware, even number years, even number, odd number years, odd number. This, um, during even number years, this is going to be a little bit different. This year, Aransas County will help with the um, election. The um, prior companies who used to lease election equipment will no longer are in that business, so we're partnering with Aransas County, um, trying to straighten some last-minute things out, but they will be the one helping us with the election this year. It's going to be in the same location or? Yes, same location. Mm -hmm. At Compton Hall? Okay. There are a motion for approval of 13B. I'm make a motion we approve item 13B. Second. I second. All in favor say aye. 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 Here the next two items on the public hearings are uh, two replats, and I've talked to Mr. Saldana before the meeting. We believe we can do item C and E both at the same time. Okay. So I'll open the public hearing to discuss uh, item C and E, which are two replats. Mr. Saldana? Hang on, Miguel. Mayor and Council, you will begin to see plats. This is a requirement in the Municipal Code. You guys just never saw them. They went through Planning Commission and they went on their own merry way. So this will give Council an idea of what land development is occurring um, within the City Center. The Mayor and Council, the two plats you have before you, one of them is Nelson Park, the a new subdivision. This is the first unit. Uh, they're proposing uh, this is going to be their model home and the spec home that is going to be built on Nelson right off the 13th Street. Uh, so this is called this is going to be called Nelson Park. You're going to do it in three phases. You'll be seeing phase two in about three to four weeks. So that's what the developer tells us. The other plot is uh, Prince First Edition. This is over at the corner of Highland and commercial this is where rest haven funeral home is going to develop their their property and they're combining 13 lots into one large lot the staff and the plan zoning commission recommend approval of these two plans thank you thank you sir any questions of, of the council or comments I have a question on the one for the rest the rest haven is going to be located. Has the traffic on Commercial Street been addressed? Because uh, that is, I live off of that street, and they are coming 60 miles an hour. And if we have a funeral, you know, I'm just kind of worried about they that. Have received, they, they, have, they, they have received TxDOT approval. This applicant has uh, better coordination with TxDOT than city staff does. Oh. There, there were some items that city staff was trying to hold the line on and, and TxDOT approved it, so. Wow, that's, that's dangerous right Including there. landscaping Very in the right so. of way. Well, hopefully y'all start off way back over there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just, I know it's. 
it'll probably take a while once it gets going to the bonnet place, yeah. but it should be no more commercial than Charlie's Marshall's over here. Yeah. Too. Well, you have more lanes over here than you do at Charlie Marshall. I mean, yeah, but I mean, you, you have more have the over bus here stop either, so. I'm just saying it's. I, I love off. I live off that road, and I know how that traffic comes. All right. Just, okay. just so council is aware, as you start seeing the plats, what you see before you are staff plat review comments. We go through the plat with the developer, and these are the comments that have to be corrected in order for the plat to move forward. So I know sometimes you get phone calls about, oh, the staff's trying to ask for this and that. It's, it's written, and everybody <coughs> has the same playing field. So. Mm -hmm. I'm just voicing my concern on that. Yes, ma'am. Any other questions? Or does anyone have in the audience have any questions or comments? If not, then the public hearings are on items uh, C and E are closed. And Mary, the council, if it so desires, can act on items D and F at the same time. Mayor, motion for approval for item D and F. I make a motion that we approve item D and F. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 This brings us to item 15. Eric?
The gentleman kicking doors in. That's Good job. job. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, that's that's bad. I was, I was very lucky that he was alive. So hopefully he'll get put away. He's on uh, felony probation right now for burglary of a habitation out of Memphis County. Nice guy. Any question from council? Thank Mayor, you. I wanted to give you, uh, we skipped item 14. I wanted to give you two really quick updates because they're going to be important and they will see the light of day and the media is going to be all over them um, tomorrow morning. First one is the industrial district contracts. We did meet with big industry on Friday and have reached what is a tentative agreement with large industry. We are meeting with smaller industry on Wednesday as was published in the paper. So I'm hoping that by next Friday we have a draft that a workable draft that can go out to the council for review. Uh, the last item is Com Brown Harbor. Um, effective tomorrow, tomorrow is the one year mark, so at midnight we will be sending the developer a notice of lease cancellation and work on um, sending out the national RFP for um, other developers to come in and make us an offer. That's it, so yeah. That's well, it. Fair? Good? Yeah. All right, thank you, sir. So now, item 16, we're going to move that to our next council meeting. And then that's going to bring us to item 17, the adjournment of the meeting. Do I have a motion? Make a motion, we adjourn. Second. All fair, say aye. 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 Okay, I did see something like that. Good, good. Uh oh. We'll see. Yeah, good. All right. See you later, folks. Well, see y'all. Bye bye, 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 Vicky. Okay. Bye. See you later. See you later, how you doing, right?
You have a good evening. Good to see you.